bunch of guys there. And they're like, oh. Well, this interview's going well. Yeah. My real favorite word, besides Greeley, <laughs> probably estates. That guy needs to shoot. I definitely like like every song that 50 Cent's done because like I think his lyrics are so deep. He's so well educated and stuff. It's just like it's awesome. It, he inspires me. Anyway, uh, the hey. show was awesome. Is, can I can I just interject something? Sure. You have a really skinny hoe. <laughs> He's cute and like, the girls love him. <laughs> We're like. He actually can't play. Well, there's a track that's playing, and he's he's just kind of doing. It. <laughs> just we, do thing. He's just there for sex appeal. <laughs> yeah, it's totally yeah. sex appeal. He was kind of like, I'm a superstar type thing. Oh, yeah. It's like I'll only play. <laughs> I remember the drums that. if I can be in front of the band, and like if Ryan if you'll sing behind me. <laughs> that's fine, but like I don't feel like there's gonna be crowd participation. But and man, you were wrong. Yeah, and, and you, you were know wrong. Yeah, dude. And we just agreed that it was just too freaky to have them up front and that the crowd would be too insane. Yeah, so. yeah I'd say we're definitely trendsetters. Like, like, I was definitely the first guy ever to wear women's jeans. I can't stand, that's the one thing about music that I hate is the fans. They disgust me. If we None of them wear deodorant, no fans. none of them brush their teeth, they all want to hug on us, <laughs> hump our legs, stuff like that, no. I really feel like we want to make a difference, we want to help kids, and like, if we can like, just help a kid in that way, like, even if it's just like, Dude, you need deodorant. Like, you're like 18 now. You should, you should probably start wearing deodorant. We were actually all professional rodeo riders. Like, we got to wear chaps back then. Yeah, and and we also wear chaps now. Like, and that and we all met in in Greeley, Colorado. We met and a lot like, of good down to earth people. We all we all met on the rodeo circuit, and that's where we all actually got together, and it was like just this huge brotherhood. Yeah, he used to make fun of me because I wore yeah. one of those chest protectors. <laughs> yeah, and you I was know? like, dude, that's so lame. Yeah, Dude, who cares dude, if the bull just... kicks you in the chest? I was mostly afraid of like a heart arrhythmia. Sometimes when you finally meet the bands that you totally respect, you like meet them and you're like, they're the biggest bunch of dorks and like all of a sudden you're like, they're not cool anymore. I, that's probably like what's going to happen after this DVD comes out. Like we're not going to be cool anymore because people will know a little bit more like who we are. Like they're going to know that Brandon... He has like a collection of monkeys, and like Brian, you know, speaks like half the characters on Lord of the Rings. Master's tricky. <laughs> my precious. I have my things, you know. Like I wear women's jeans and I wear lip gloss and things like that. Like we're just not going to be cool anymore, especially probably to our male audience. So hopefully, our music speaks for itself, right? I think two other fans have come up to us just recently saying that they're they're getting Greeley Estates tattoos and stuff and like we we definitely encourage that. Greeley Estates embraces all their fans, female and male, uh, especially male as far as embracing. <laughs> I definitely feel my, like my boobs are bigger. Like and you know what? I, I would never get fake boobs. One thing we said is Ryan, keep your clothes on. Like, <laughs> Disease. He's like a microscopic wildlife preserve. <laughs> <laughs> Probably in the next five years, like we're definitely looking to be like having like our private jets, and, like like probably the Greeley Estates cruise line, like opening up guitar shaped like like lawn chairs and like punk rock guys with their shirts off walking around serving cocktails. We have we have big dreams for sure, and that's definitely one of them. On a more serious note, like we de we're de we're definitely about the private jet. And that's definitely in the five-year plan, and like, cause, like the the van thing's not working out for us. I just want to be flown like to the venue. Like I want to be flown, and then I want like a helicopter to take me to the venue. I like then I want somebody to kind of like carry me to stage to the stage. Cause like I'm really serious. I'm sick of just like having to like. Sick of walking. <laughs> that's the biggest thing. That's the biggest frustrating thing. Is just like I'm tired of walking. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a right there. Peace! Peace out! Ryan's so lovely.